Hi Les, and thanks for buying the Bose Wave 3. This is the one that's boxed, and it is as new, inside out. Comes with the original remote, comes with an original power lead, and the power lead is shielded, so it has that white thing on it. And let me just quickly show you how to set up the DAB. Now, my suggestion would be that you do this at the front of the house or the back of the house. It's wherever you might get the most amount of signal. So under a window, at the back of the house, side of the house, front of the house, because as you come deeper into the house, the signal will deteriorate. Now, with the remote, we turn it on. If digital radio is the last thing you were listening to, it will start on that. But if it's not, we press the radio button until we get digital radio. Digital radio normally takes a few seconds to start up anyway. So if you're just flicking through, when you're on digital radio, you have to wait until it starts. That's just the way it is. When you're on digital radio, you will get the message here possibly saying seek, seeking or searching because it will do that because it's a new area. It can't find the signal, can't find the channels that are there already. But once it finishes and it is playing something, it's important that it's playing something, you press and hold the mute button. It says the word auto scan, you press and hold. It says auto scan, press three now. And what that'll do is that will start a deeper scan process. <coughs> now, like I said, if it's at the front of the house or the back of the house, it will catch the most amount of signal that it can and then store all the channels alphabetically in the system and you will access them via these two buttons. So I've stored BBC one, two, three, and four. So as an example, if I press next, 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 it will go up alphabetically up the list. And a lot of my customers, they love gold, which is why they buy the Wave 3 onwards, because it's DAB Plus. And they often say to me, could you set gold up before it comes to me? So as an example, it comes, you wait for it to start playing, which it did. Then you press and hold five. You hear the noise, it's now saved it to preset five. So that's how you set the DAB. Normal FM, same process. You just seek the, the station that you're looking for. And then once you found it, you press and hold the button that you want to save it to. Simple. Now, what you also can do, you have an alarm setup button. Press and hold. We then use the seek button again. And the one that we're going to use now is if you're playing a CD, this is called continuous play. If you're playing a CD, do you want it to play something when the CD is finished? By default, no. You can have it play the auxiliary FM or DAB. If the CD finishes, play DAB. I'm going to leave that as no. When the CD finishes, nothing will play and it will turn off after a while. The next thing it can do is 12 or 24 hour. Next thing it will do is brightness during the day and brightness at night. So if you have this next to your pillow, you can have it right down low and you wouldn't be disturbed by it. Next thing is touchpad on or off. This is by default on. This is here. If I touch the top, it turns off. So when you're cleaning it, this happens. It, to me, this is, I don't like it. So I usually have it off. If you want to turn it off, press and hold the alarm button. Use the next buttons. Oh, press and hold the alarm button until you get set up. Then go next, next, next until we get to touchpad and turn it off by using the plus minus. Automatic off, I'm gonna turn this off. No, that means that the screen does not turn off automatically after an hour. I'm gonna put the brightness to 14, so it's not at its maximum and it will last longer that way. I expect this to last another 10 years, so I would suggest also that you give him a name. If he's gonna last that long and he's been sitting in your house, you should give him a name and call him by it. <coughs> right. Um, okay, that's it really. Ah, it does have a sleep function. So if we press the sleep button, we can toggle to 90 and then off or it starts from 10 again. And if sleep is on, it's indicated by that on the screen. Okay, I wish you many years of listening pleasure. Uh, the CD player is all functional and working well, sorry I forgot to mention, but a lot of the time, remember, it's not the CDs, CD player that fails, it's the CDs. So do bear in mind that CDs can get old and they can get a bit funny sometimes. So one thing might play somewhere, but not here, etc., etc. I haven't found many CDs that don't play in these systems, but it does happen sometimes.